Girls weak, the models don't compare. Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs. You can't get Okay, you guys, so here are all the things you're going to be needing to make our bomb garlic butter roasted chicken. Y'all see it. Y'all know I had to do my board, right? Okay, so right in here is the chicken. I put it in the bag because, you know, chicken juices and all that. We have a whole chicken in here. Okay, so this is a five and a half pound roasted chicken a tyson chicken okay um i have some green onion here i need to get rid of so i'm gonna throw that in there y'all sometimes the best food is your when you're using the stuff that you have in your refrigerator you just throw it together and that's what i'm doing because you know we about to we about to hook this up all right so we have some green onion here i have a red onion some pink Himalayan salt. You can use whatever salt you like. That's what I'm using. I have one shallot left. Like I said, we using what we have. Okay, so one shallot. I have some fresh thyme. Okay, some black pepper. Some spicy brown mustard. Whatever um, brown mustard you prefer, use that. I have that one. Some lime juice. I have some pecan liquid smoke. We're gonna be using that for our garlic butter. It's gonna be like a smoky garlic butter. Um, some minced garlic, some complete seasoning. Smoked paprika, a little slap your mama, a stick of butter, okay. And that's all we're going to be using for our roasted garlic butter chicken. All right, all right. Okay, you guys, so we have our chicken here. We're gonna clean it up. These are the giblets right here. I mean, I may use this. You know what, I am probably gonna use this. I'm gonna check this out. The giblets are, of course, the um, neck, the gizzards, the heart, the liver, all that stuff. I mean, if anything, it's going to make your sauce fortified and make it super flavorful. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. You see them right here? Sometimes these Walmart chickens don't have the giblets in it, but today they did. So we're gonna clean up the chicken. So this piece, extra piece of skin right here on the neck, go ahead and cut that off. Throw that out. All this, just gonna clean it up. Okay, see that? Then we're going to spatch this chicken. So of course, this right here where the breast is, is the front. I'm gonna clean some of this off too. All right. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn the chicken around. Here's the backbone right here. To spash the chicken, what you wanna do is remove the backbone. So. Okay, yo, these are my looks homewares knives cut right through that bone okay so we got this open here's the backbone we're just going to take it off
Okay, so we got our backbone removed. Of course, you can save this, freeze it, make some chicken stock or whatever. Whatever you want to do. Here's the whole backbone. So here is our batch chicken. See that? Flip it over. It's the whole chicken. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and um, rinse this off again and some cold water. Clean my uh, board again. Clean my counter. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the chicken cleaned off again. I have my roast, my roasting dish right here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up these veggies and lay them on the bottom of the roasting dish. Just a rough chop. You don't gotta get serious with it, okay? Next, I'm going to put a couple sprigs of this thyme on top of those. Okay, so here are the onions, scallions, the shallots, and the thyme. This is going to be the bed the chicken is going to lay on top of. I'm going to season this with like a little bit of complete seasoning. You want to season like every step. And a little smoked paprika. Okay. So this is the bed the chicken is going to lay on. Put that to the side. Okay, so we have the chicken right here. First, I'm going to put down a little lime juice. Some complete seasoning. Get all in that wing, the legs. Flip it over, get the inside. Okay, my seasoning done. I got another one to stash though. This one's done. I'm going to put a tablespoon of this brown mustard. Two tablespoons of this brown mustard. I say about half a teaspoon of this pink Himalayan salt. Some black pepper. Smoked paprika. Some of this slap your mama. This is like Tony Satchery, yeah. Don't forget about them giblets. So, an envelope of sasson. Now we're going to rub this in. Let me get you a little closer. Yeah, I don't have to wear gloves in y'all kitchen. I'm only wearing gloves because I don't want to get all this stuff under my nails. Get some giblets. See that? Gather some in your hand. Flip it over. Just rub it. Okay. Just rub it. Rub all that in. Oh, this is going to be so flavorful. 
Mm -mm. Okay. So now we're going to get our bacon dish, place our chicken in it. Okay. Take the giblets, Let's put the giblets in here. All of our seasoning that's on the board, we're going to put in the pan. Okay. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Give me, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our chicken in here. Nice and seasoned. Okay, I wonder if I should have laid it the other way. You know what, I'm gonna leave it just like that. So now, um, on top of this, I'm just gonna add a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more of this Slap Your Mama. Not a lot, but you know, enough. I want this to be flavorful. Open them wings, you know what I mean? Get up in there, don't be afraid of your meat. A little more smoked paprika. A little pepper. Okay. Next, I'm going to put a tablespoon of this minced garlic down in the pan. I didn't rub it on the chicken because it could burn. I'd rather have it like in the cooking liquid opposed to on the surface of the chicken. So that's a tablespoon and a half of minced garlic because we're gonna add more garlic to um, our compound butter. Okay, you guys, so here is how our chicken is looking. Nice and seasoned. You know this is gonna be good and flavorful. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cover this and just let it marinate for like an hour or so. You know? It's gonna make it even better. You see all that garlic down there? Yeah, this is gonna be so good. So. We're gonna let this marinate for a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so the chicken has been marinating for like an hour and a half or so. Um, I have the oven preheating at 350. Here is our marinated chicken. Looks <laughs> pretty much the same as it looked before it marinated, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, loosely tint the chicken with some tin foil. So what that means is I'm gonna put some tin foil on, but I'm not gonna fully cover the chicken because I want some steam to escape because I don't want a lot of liquid in it, in the pan. So, see I put the tin foil on, but it's not fully on. It's like covering 90% of it, okay? And you have to be careful when you put the tin foil on that it's not like super tight on the chicken because you don't want to take the tin foil off and rip your skin off because y'all, you know the skin is the best part, okay? So, it's on here loosely, okay? So, as soon as our oven is to temperature, I'm going to put this chicken in the oven and we're going to roast it for about an hour and a half. Check it. See how it's looking? Okay, you guys, so it's been about an hour and a half. I just took the tin foil off. I'm about to baste the chicken with some of this cooking liquid. Um, keep the tin foil off and I'm gonna brown it some. Uh, then I'm going to uh, go ahead and make the garlic butter and then baste it again. All right. So you guys, of course I have a baster, a real baster, but I hate washing those. I don't know, I always feel like the inside stays greasy. So, if you don't mind, of course, use your baster. Oh, this is gonna be so good.
This cooking liquid smells so good. It's so flavorful. It's gonna be bomb. All right, so we're gonna brown this some more, uncover it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I thought my camera was filming. This is the garlic butter right here. Only thing I put in here was half a stick of butter. I put a tablespoon of this pecan liquid smoke. I'm sure you guys can find this anywhere. I got this in New Orleans, but I'm sure you can get this anywhere. Very, very good, very fragrant. I put a tablespoon of minced garlic. I put an eighth of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I put an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper and a little dash of slap your mama. <laughs> then you got this garlic butter. Yeah, don't kill me. I'm so sorry. I put it all together in the bowl and then I just melted it for like 30 seconds. So, there's our garlic butter. Just that simple, okay? Wow. I cannot believe my camera wasn't recording. And some time. I had like four sprigs of thyme left. Yeah, I'm so mad because I don't have no more thyme left. I was going to make it again, but I just used the rest of the thyme. So, y'all, yeah, half a stick of butter, okay? A tablespoon of the liquid smoke. I used the pecan. You say pecan, pecan liquid smoke. It's very fragrant. It's going to be like a smoky, garlicky butter, okay? Then you're going to put a little dash of the Slap Your Mama or your Tony Satries, whatever you're using. A tablespoon of the minced garlic. Okay, a little pepper and a little bit of the smoked paprika. That's it. And then you'll get this. All right, I melted it in the microwave for like 30 seconds because my butter was already softened. All right, and the three sprigs of uh, thyme. I just took the thyme off the stem. Ugh. See, this be that real deal YouTube stuff. I really thought my camera was filming. Okay, you guys, so let's make this garlic butter real quick. All right, so I have a stick of salted butter. It's softened. So I'm gonna use half of this. So half a stick of sweet cream salted butter. Okay, nice and soft. Next, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of minced garlic. A uh, tablespoon of liquid smoke. I'm using this pecan. Is it pecan or pecan? Which one do y'all say? I'm using this pecan liquid smoke. I'm sure you could probably find this. I bought this when I was in New Orleans, so I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm sure y'all could find this. So see that? I'm gonna use a tablespoon. Oh, this smells so smoky. So, theoretically, this is going to be like a garlicky, smoky butter. Look at that color. Y'all see that? Oh, that smells so smoky. All right, so that was a tablespoon. I'm going with a little black pepper. Since I have some time left, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this, um, you know, take the leaves off the skin stem. You just pretty much just go like that and they come right off. See? See? Next I'm gonna put a little smoked paprika. Just a touch. Because smoked paprika is strong. And it can definitely be overpowering if you put too much. A little slap your mama just for a little, you know. It's going to be like a little sweet heat. And there's our garlic butter. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. So the butter is really soft, so pretty much just going to mix it. Mix this up. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put this in the microwave and just melt it. I'll do it that way. So, let me go melt this real quick. But, oh my gosh, it smells so friggin' fragrant. It's going to be so good. Alright, but this is our garlic butter. 
It smells so good. It smells so smoky, so fragrant. Oh, it's gonna be so bomb. Okay, you guys, so I just took the chicken out the oven. Ooh, that skin is nice and crispy. You hear that? You hear that? Oh. So I'm just going to pour the garlic butter on the top. Oh my gosh. Yum. You can, of course, use a brush, but who wants to wash another dish? Mm, oh my gosh. So bomb. It's gonna be so flavorful. Yeah, y'all cannot tell me that's not gonna be good. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound white boy. Yeah. 